Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Melatosh here, I'm back for GBA Week 7, going up against my boy Iron Flash Gaming, Zazo, and the Detroit Butterfreeze or the BBC Kings, whatever you prefer. We're going up against him. He is probably one of the best players in the format. Period. People say he's washed up, but that's just bull schmizzle. Um, he is sitting at 4-2 and two right now. He had two losses uh, where I think he lost some motivations and he was playing teams that he knew were going to make playoffs, so he didn't put out his full strength out. But definitely expecting his full strength this week as, you know, we're going to be on the fence for playoffs. That's for sure. Um... And as you guys can see, the six I'm expecting him to bring on the right are the Dianti. If you can see bugs, I'm really sorry. They're freaking everywhere, and I've got a light on, and it's attracting them, and they're just, they're... Ugh. Um, <laughs> the Dianti, the Garchomp, the Slowbro, the Blissey, the Zapdos, and the Heracross. Um, while I definitely feel like Crocodile can come, I feel like what Ferrothorn can come. Uh, Gogo maybe can come, just because it's Zazo. I don't feel like Talonflame is coming. Um, but maybe it can come. There is definitely one more thing. Toxicroak can also come. So let's go over the six that I decided to bring this match up very, very quickly before the team. We have got Zygar with Dragonite's Thousand Hours Outrage and Extreme Speed with the Dragonium Z. We then have Mew with Defog Psychic, Ice Beam, and Soft Boiled. We then have Rhaegar, the Charizard, Fire Blast, Solar Beam, Focus Punch, and Roost. We then have Bilowski, the Snorlax with Return, Earthquake, Curse and Recycle. We then have 50 Cent, the Rotom Wash, who is Choice Scarf with Voltage Trader Pump, Thunderbolt, and Hidden Power Ice. And last but not least, we have a James of the Victory Bell, Leaf Blade, Poison Jab, Weather Ball, and Growth, holding that focus stash so we can live any one hit. But that's going to be the team, and I will see you guys at the battle. Alright, guys, we're here with the battle portion of the video, and oh my god, my opponent actually brought the Talon Flame over the Heracross. Okie dokie do. So I actually need to get Talonflame up from here um, and get you in here like this. Um, and I'm actually going to make you big for now. Let's get Talonflame like this and make you a bit bigger. Okay, perfect. And now I just need to get rid of the hair across. And we're looking pretty funky. So let's make, let's make sure I got that right. He has got the Zapdos, the Blissey, the Garchomp, the Slowbro, the Diancie, and the Talonflame. Uh, that is definitely something to be expected, to be honest with you guys. So his only two rockers are the Garchomp and the Diancie. I think he's going to leave with one of them. I think I want to just leave with my Rotom. I can Volt Switch out against pretty much anything. I can Hidden Power Ice and I can hide the Garchomp and I can Hydro Pump the Diancie. So that is what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and lead. Good luck, have fun, Zazo. Uh, definitely one of the best players in the format. So hopefully we can do something here, but uh, uh, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm not too sure. I'm not feeling very good about this matchup right now, but uh, hopefully we can do something. I'm going to have to play well, and I'm, I'm up for playing well, man. I am up for playing well, that is for sure. Alrighty then. Oh, we're going into this match right now. Look at us, both looking clean, both looking healthy. Mm. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> okay, so I wonder who he's going to leave with. I feel like he leaves Dianti or Garchomp. I ain't going to be making any plays. If you guys see some bugs, I'm really sorry. They're freaking everywhere. I can't do anything about it. Um, he goes Papa Boy. I don't know what this is. This is the Talonflame. Alright, so this could not really be a better lead for me, if I'm honest. Um, and I am just going to fire off a Volt Switch here. If I outspeed him, what do I go into? Um, I'd probably just go into Charizard, maybe. Hmm. If he stays in, it means he's going for U-turn. If he stays in, that means he's going for U-turn. So I can go Charizard. There's no way he Flare Blitzes or he may be going for Natural Gift Grass. Um, so I feel like Volt Switch is the play. Um, if he doesn't have U-turn, he should just get the Heckles out of here. Unless he's got Toxic. Unless he's got Toxic. And Zard being Toxic is not the end of the world. Zard being Toxic is not the end of the world. Um, so let's see how much we're going to do to like a Spadef Talonflame. Um, if you're not Spadef, a Volt Switch can kill. So he does withdraw. Okay, cool. So not revealing with Scarfed is pretty nice. Please don't be the Garchomp. Goes out into Belissi. Alrighty then. We're going to get a clean Volt Switch off here. Uh, and what do we go into right now? I kind of like going Snorlax. Like, I don't have the best responses to this Blissey. I do feel like that's a bit of a risky play on Zazu's part because I could have Trick on my Rotom. 
Um, I could have Trick on the Rotom. So like, there are a few things I can do. I can go Snorlax here. I feel like Snorlax is the play. And then what do I go for? Like, what does he switch into the Snorlax? I feel like I just fire off a return. He may want to go for the Toxic, though. I feel like he either goes... We see the leftovers on the Blissey. Okay, so that's good to note. Um, that is definitely good to note. Um, so we see leftovers on the Blissey. I feel like he... Like, he either Toxics... Like, there's no way you Thunder Wave a Snorlax. Do you know what I mean? You either Toxic or you go Slowbro here. Like, that makes sense to me. You either Toxic or you go Slowbro. So I feel like I can make the play out into my Victory Bell. But it is very risky because I don't really want to be losing my Sash on this thing. And the other play he has is Rocks. Hmm. The other play he does have is Rocks. So I feel like the safer play is just going for the return here. Let's see what kind of damage we're going to do to this Blissey. Uh, get some information on it at least. So let's fire off the return here. Um, yeah, I like that play. Let's fire off the return and see what goes down. Return should do about 30 to 35%. If he goes for Toxic, that would be a bit annoying. Um, but he could be scared of something like a superpower. Like bad superpower lacks could be something he could be scared of. As I did go right into it. As he does go for the Toxic, should have made the play out into V-Bell. Uh, this is not going to do too much, which is definitely unfortunate. But like I said, I don't have much for this Blissey. I do not have much for this Blissey. So we're going to go for the return here and let's see how much we do. We do about 30%, I'd say. Alright, cool. We do about 30%. So I can curse up here again, up against this Blissey, but at the same time I do feel like he's going to make the switch out into Bro or go for the softboard. So I'm going to go 50 cent here, uh, partly because I feel like I can force him out with the Volt Switch. I uh, know with the, the the trick, sorry, and I can just go for the Volt Switch. Like I don't think he wants his Garchomp getting tricked with Choice Scar. Although actually he may make the play out into Garchomp because he is. He could make the play out onto Garchomp uh, if he's the Z-move, then his item's not going to get tricked. And that's that's what he would be scared of. That is definitely what he would be scared of. So I could hit him Pies. Because I do think he switches out. As he does withdraw, let's see what he goes out into. Goes out into Ricardo the Zapdos. Alrighty, so we're going to go back out into our Rotom here. Um, maybe he's thinking at this point that we are indeed Trick. Maybe, but maybe not. So, I feel like I can just Volt Switch it off against this thing, go back out into Lax. Lax being Toxic is a little bit of a pain. Uh, if he goes Chomp, I can go Mew. So, let's Volt Switch here. I feel like Volt Switch is okay. Um, as he is going to know that we are Scarfed most likely now. We do some good damage to that thing, though. We do some good damage to that thing. I feel like this is Offensive Zapdos. That makes a lot of sense. Offensive Zapdos is really good against my team. That is for sure. Um, I think I'm this one. Damn it, I got the wrong one every time. If anyone knows how to clear your... Uh, clear your like set mons, let me know, please. Uh, Volt Switch to a Zapdos at level 50. Does 34 to 40 if you're not max HP. So let me put my HP bar on. That would be smart. That would be a nice thing to do. HP bar, okay. So that did about 35, right? Let's put max HP in and see, because it could have done 35 as well. So maybe your max HP. Um, maybe, just maybe, you are max HP. But I'm gonna go into my Snorlax here. Uh, I'm gonna go into Lax. So he doesn't want his slow row getting weakened down. That makes sense. That probably means it's his Zygarde check. As he goes for the Thunderbolt, let's see how much this does to Snorlax. That did a not a lot. I didn't see what it brought us down to, um, to be honest, but it did not do too much. I don't know if it did 26 to 31%, to be honest. But that's with Zaplay, I just count. Um, and he has leftovers, right? So uh, maybe it did 21%. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, I think your max HP Zapdos. Okay. Um, so let's fire off the return again here. I think that's fine. Lax being weakened down is not really the greatest for me. He goes for the Metal Sound. I missed the attack. I, uh, that sucks, Zazo. I'm sorry. Uh, Metal Sound Zapdos was really clean in that scenario. Really clean in that scenario. Oh my lord. Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. So allow me to be switching out here, I think. 
Hmm, into what though? This is a problem. <laughs> this is a massive problem. Lacks being toxic, that's the real problem. Uh, Metal Sound lowers my speed death, right? Metal Sound. Yeah, lowers my speed death. Okay. So I think I'm going to go Rotom here. Yeah, I like going Rotom here because I can T-bolt this thing or potentially force it out uh, with the Volt Switch um, and get some clean damage on it while taking the Metal Sound. As he goes for Roost, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so let me see how much my Rotom is going to do to this thing. Um, Thunderbolt does 37 to 44 if you are max HP. Uh, and if you are no HP, then Thunderbolt has an 18.2% chance to 2 it KO. Uh, and Hydro Pump is a 2 it KO. Um, and I don't think you can do too much to me unless you're offensive. So let's Hydro Pump here. Yeah, I like going for the Hydro Pump here. As he does withdraw, I kind of wish I'd Volt Switched. Kind of wish I'd Volt Switched. Uh, as he goes out into the Garchomp, so he is going to take this Hydro Pump, which is really nice for me. Um, as damage on Garchomp could potentially put it in Victory Bell range, as that does so much damage. Oh, Rotom. Oh, Rotom. You, you get me good sometimes. You get me good sometimes. I'll tell you that right now. So do I just fire off another Hydro Pump? I'm pretty sure that my opponent is going to be going out into the Blissey. Um, I'm pretty sure my opponent's going to be going out into Blissey. So... Zygarde to Blissey. That's some set. Z Outrage is not going to kill. I don't think an Ice Beam from Blissey is going to kill me though. Hmm. I need damage on bro before I start doing any blissy shenanigans, you know? So I think I'm going to pull double out into Lax. I can take one hit with Lax as I do have a lot of defense investment. Um, and I do feel like he is going to be going out into his, uh, into, into his blissy right now. Makes a lot of sense. Why would he let his Garchomp go down? Um, as he does withdraw the Garchomp. That's pretty hype for me. Uh, and goes out into the Blissey. Okay, cool. So, although we are making plays right now, it's kind of to no avail because uh, this Blissey is still around. I need to get my Zard in against something that it forces out. Uh, I'm going to get my Berry, which is really nice. I'm going to go for the Recover here. Uh, the Recycle, even. Um, just to keep my Berry around, keep my Snorlax as healthy as possible for that Diancie. Because uh, Diancie is a humongous threat to my team. So, like, if I can get, like, a Toxic off on Slowbro, like, if he tries to Toxic me with Mew or something on Slowbro, that would be kind of nice. Let's see if he switches out here. He does withdraw. That's nice for me. Let's see what he goes down to. Goes back down to Obi. That is the Garchomp. Hmm. Would he really just Z-move right now? Would he really just Z-move right now? That's my question. Uh, I think with this one, we are not every single time. Oh my god, deal. Um, Z move, Garchomp. Versus my Mew. Is going to do about half. If he SDs, then we're in a pickle. If he SDs, we're in a pickle. Uh, but let's go out into the Mew. Yeah, I like that. Let's go out into Mew here. Um... And yeah, let's see if we can take this thing on. <laughs> Let us see. He could go for rocks. He goes for stealth rocks. Nicely done. Nicely done. I don't see him staying in here. It makes no sense for him to stay in here, if I'm being honest. So I am just going to fire off the defog. Because I don't think he stays in here. If he does stay in, then defog is not the best play. But like, he could have just sacked his Garchomp to an ice beam. Um, and Z move is not going to be able to take me out. Z move into outrage does not kill me. So. I don't see my opponent staying in here. Um, and I definitely want to be... I don't know what I can get my Zard in on. What's that Zapdos going to have? It has Metal Sound and Roost. Heat Wave and Thunderbolt. Or it's probably Thunderbolt and Hidden Power Ice. But then he doesn't have anything for Pillow Swine. Even with the Metal Sound. So... Hmm. Even, yeah, even with the Metal Sun, he wouldn't have anything for Pillar Swine. So I'm not sure what his moveset on the Zapdos would be. If he doesn't have Hidden Ice, that would be great. He does withdraw the Garchomp uh, and goes out into the Talonflame. 
Muy interesante. Interesante. What am I saying? Man, my Spanish is bad. Okay. Um, he knows that my Rotom is scarfed. I think he's going to fire off a Wisp. But I don't... I feel like going Rotom here is fine. I feel like it's just so obvious. I feel like it's so obvious. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go Rotom here. I feel like it's very, very obvious. I don't know what he'd make the play out into. He doesn't have the best responses for Scarf Rotom here. He goes for Toxic. Okay, 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 okay. So Talonflame is Toxic. Interesting. Toxic. Roost. I don't know if this man's got set up, if I'm honest. I don't know if this man has set up, if I'm honest. I don't think he wants to risk Garchomp again, so I'm going to fire off the Volt Switch. If he does, I can go out into Mew. It's a bit of a pain, not going to lie. But I feel like he goes Blissey. And um, we're getting some okay chip on the Blissey. He may be scared of something like Trick. In which case, Garchomp might be his best play. Hmm. So I do feel like he does withdraw. Please go Blissey or something that's not Garchomp. Ricardo, what is that? That is the Zappy Dosi. Okay. Um, let's Volt Switch here. Uh, and I don't know. I just don't know this damage. Okay. So that does uh, about 35%, right? Again? Man, calculating on Wi Fi is dangerous. I don't know nothing. Um, Zapdos. I feel like. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go to level 50. See, like, I feel like... 34 to 40. So maybe he is max HP. But that would give me two max rolls. Hmm. Maybe he's, like, some HP. Hmm. I think I want to go Zard. Hmm. <laughs> Can you kill Charizard? Can you kill Charizard? That's what I want to know right now. With a Thunderbolt. Yeah, you can. But you're not Zap Plate, so maybe not. Without Zap Plate. Uh, you have a 12% chance, okay, if you're Max HP. Uh, and let's see how much Muse Ice Beam is going to do if you're Max HP. I don't think it's going to be doing too much. Um, Ice Beam does 38 to 45, which is not bad damage, to be honest. Um, and Thunderbolt, to me, is 36 to 42. Um, oh, shit, I ran out of time. <laughs> okay, I ran out of time. I ran out of time. So this is a big turn because I can focus punch here and I think I'm going to catch Blissey. But if he stays in the Thunderbolts, I'm telling you right now, it's not a good thing. Um, so I need to be careful because I did run out of time. Um, the other play I have is if he either goes Blissey or he Thunderbolts. And from this range, I wonder if Zygarde can kill this Zapdos. Uh, I wonder if Zygarde can kill this Zapdos. Not from here. With a Z move, yeah, you can. But I kind of need my Z move for Slowbro. But I don't mind pivoting out into my Zygarde right now. And let's see Blissey. Let's see Blissey. Like, does he stay in, though? That's my real question. He really could stay in. But I need to make some big boy plays if I'm going to win this match. That's the thing. I feel like Zygarde isn't a bad play. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Zygarde. Um, and then if he goes Blissey, I am going to pull a double out back out into my Charizard on the slow row. Um, so let's see if my opponent switches out. Uh, I, we also get to know if he does switch out that I was indeed faster. Okay, Zard is faster than this Zapdos. That is very good to know. As my opponent goes out into the Diancy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
I'll go Snorlax here. Okay, went out into Diancie. I'm glad I didn't reveal the Focus Punch there. Um, so I think I go Snorlax here. Yeah, I'm going Snorlax here. Um, so we know we're faster than Zapdos, which is really freaking clean. I'm not going to lie. It's really clean. Um, he's going to Mega Rove, of course. Probably going to be firing off that Moonblast. Oh, Diancie is such a threat when Snorlax is toxic. Oh dear, Moon Blast. Oh dear, Moon Blast. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We are hurt by poison. I think he for sure switches out here. If he doesn't, that would be crazy. Um, if he doesn't, that would be crazy. I think I'm just going to fire off the return. If he goes into Garchomp, that's fine. Um, but getting return damage off on something is great, good for me. Getting return damage off on something is good for me. Um, so Zard is faster than the than the Zapdos. That's really good to know because now if I get a Volt Switch off on that Zapdos, I can go Zard very comfortably. Um, and I will Focus Punch next time because I don't think he switches in Diancie again. Let's see how much Charizard... Like, I know Zazo is a really smart player, so he doesn't want to be making the same play so that I can make a read. I know that. Let's see. Goes out into the Ricardo, which is the Zapdos. This is going to take some good damage. This is for sure going to take some good damage. Okay, that is some clean, clean damage. There's no way you fire off the Thunderbolt here. Um, Lax is nice and healthy. And yes, my Lax loves me. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Um, okay, okay, okay. So I kind of want to put the double out into my Charizard right meow. Um, but let's see if Charizard is going to kill a Zapper. Um, a Zapper that's level 50. Like you could potentially be Spadef. Although I didn't actually see how much that return did to you. So maybe I should have that. Um, because no, no, you're not Spadef because of Rotom's Volt Switch. So I feel like Charizard is going to kill you. Even from this range. Uh, max HP. Let's see. You are at 50 actually. So if you Roost, I'm probably not going to kill. So, hmm, what is my play around this wall core? Well, I got fifty seconds left. Okay. Hmm. I kind of want to go Zard. I don't think he stays in. So I think I'm going to make the play out to Zard. It's a very risky play. Don't get me wrong, but I just the chances of him thunderbolting right now are very, very slim. Yeah, I don't. Th he wants to keep this thing healthy. Like, why would he just go for the thunderbolt here? It makes no sense. Okay, let's go for Zard Y. Holy crap! I can't believe I did that. Making these risky plays right now. Don't go for thunderbolt, Zazo. Don't you dare, you little chicken dipper whipper. Oh, what have I done? Oh, no. I knew that was the... Oh, no. <laughs> well, that was silly. <laughs> that was very silly. Ah, oh, we just lost, man. We just lost. I'm going Mew. Oh, we just lost. Oh, my God. That was such a silly play. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. <sighs> These things happen, man. These things happen. I tried to be aggressive. I tried to be extremely aggressive. Um, and Zazo just gave me the middle finger. So, I mean, that's fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to Ice Beam, right? He goes Blissey. Ah! Ah! Oh, I can't beat Blissey now. I had to get Zard to... <sighs> Shit. I'm sweating so much. It's so hot, my God. It's Ice Beam. Go Garchomp! That's not Blissey, is it? Oh, it's the Diancie. I'm just trying to think how the freaking heck I win the game. I wonder what I like. I, he's not switching in Slowbro, I'll tell you that right now. He ain't switching in no Slowbro. 
until freaking Zygarde comes out. I'll tell you that right now, my lover. I will tell you that right now. Um, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Z outrage. The 74 to 88 to the slow bro. I really can't believe I made that play with the Charizard. It was extremely aggressive. I knew it was aggressive, and my body was telling me to just go into mute or recycle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then I didn't want to be that guy that always goes to the timer, you know? Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, right now. Mew, what's Guanin? Versus the Diancie. All out attacker. Uh, wow. That would be level 50. Uh, Moonlight does a ton. Moonblast does a ton. I'm going out into Snorlax here. Damage on Diancie. Oh, uh, like, it's just V-Bell was one of my win cons, you know, and Victory Bell is kind of useless now. That's the problemo. We are facing window on the Mundo. Um, I guess he thought about it because he knew I probably had to recycle, which I probably should have done. I should have recycled. That's why he's probably going to attack again right now, because I should recycle. Yeah, that makes sense. And um, that makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. That's a smart play. That is a smart play. I'll tell you that right now. What can I do to win this game? I have to win with Zygarde. Um, I have to win with Zygarde, pretty much. I have to win with Zygarde. I do have the Sash on the V-Bell. I do have the Sash. I am going to go Mew. That is a factoid. I'm going Mew, 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 Mew. Um, I just, I'm like trying to figure out like a series of plays that I can make to win this game. Oh no. Okay, I need to pick a sack. Uh, I don't know what I sack. I think I have to sack Victory Bell, to be honest. Victory Bell can still be nice though, because it is physical, and physical things kill Blissey. I can sack Rotom. But if Chomp Chompo goes down though, if Chomp goes down there and Blissey goes down, then Thunderbolt Spam is looking very nice. I think I have to sack the Victory Bell. I'm going to live as well, so that's fun. I'm going to live. Victory Bell is going to live this. Um, because, yeah, so we're sacking Victory Bell here. Uh, Mew is the only thing that takes a hit from Garchomp. There's the Z move. Um, is that Dragonium? I believe that is ground oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It is Groundium. Imagine if I went right top. That would have been a fun time. Really thought he'd bring Dragium. Not gonna lie. But Groundium works the same. It works the same. I just figured that he might want to hit. Um, I just figured he might want to hit the thing my bob with the stuff my bob. What am I talking about right now? Um, the thing my bob with the stuff my bob. Um, Rotom. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna bother going Rotom on the Quake here because if he goes for Dragon Claw, then <laughs> so let's leave play. He goes for Earthquake. Should have gone Rotom on the Quake, but I th I mean I thought Dragon Move was better unless he's Outrage, but I don't see why he would be. Outrage and not Z Outrage in this particular matchup, to be honest with you. Just one honest man talking to another. Let's go Mew. Um, because he may be tempted just to get off big damage on this thing, and I really want his ground type gone so I can spam Thunderbolt. Um, if I can get rid of Blissey, I don't freaking know how I'm going to get rid of Blissey. Don't ask me that right now. Um, Psychic does nothing. I'm just going to Ice Beam, because uh, in case he does stay in, I need to kill him. He goes for Outrage. Live this, Mew. Oh, dear me. 
Oh dear me, that really sucks. Oh, that really sucks. Um, if you were adamant, maybe it didn't matter. No, it mattered. It mattered every single way of the week. So Ice Beam would have killed. Um, wow, we're going to get 6 0'd. We're going to get 6 0'd. I'm going to go into Rotom. No, I think we can get a kill with Zygarde. We can get a kill with Zygarde. I just need to try and catch Zazo being cheeky, trying to save those differential points, you know? So let's hit about ice here because I don't want to be that guy that misses a hydro pump. Um, so we're going to hit about ice. Take out the Garchomp. Garchomp goes down. That's fine. That went down very slowly for a hidden power ice. Not gonna lie. Very slowly. Zazo can go out into whatever he wants right now. He can go out into his left nut if he wants to. Or his right one. I don't know which one he prefers. Not gonna lie. Wish I knew. Wish I knew. So. I mean, to be honest, guys, we were in a sticky situation anyway. We were in a sticky situation anyway. We could have got softballed up, I do believe, with Mew. Again. Mm. Ugh, this is a problem. <laughs> Let's get Snorlax here. I just... I need to find something, like... If Zapdos doesn't have Hidden Power Ice... Maybe we can win the game. Because Zygarde is kind of a god. Like, maybe that's the risk I have to be taking in my life right now. And either way, I'm probably going to kill the Zapdos. After one hidden power ice into a Z move or something, and getting differential is always a fun time. It's always a fun time. Calm mind. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> Sorry. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Just ignore, ignore, ignore the commentary. Just ignore the commentary and, and watch the Pokemon do, doing their thing. Um, so plus one. Oh wow. Plus one's going to be doing nearly half to my Snorlax. Do I have my berry? I can't remember. I do not. Oh, this is a pickle. I have the Earthquake here. I wish I had the Steel move. You guys have no idea how close I was to bringing Steel move this week. Um, I'm not going to say in the team builder because I haven't recorded it yet. <laughs> Let's earthquake here. Maybe we can do... If we get a max... If we get high roll, it's a 67 to 80%. So if we get a max roll, we can kill. Give me this juiciness. Please, Snorlax. Boom. Taking it to the left nut. Taking it to the right nut. Taking it to all the nuts. I like nuts. Um, okay, so, so Snorlax goes down here. I can then either go Z Zygarde or the Rotom. I'm so annoyed I went. I'm so annoyed I went into Zard. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, forgive me, please, guys. Forgive me. Um, then I can go Rotom. I can Volt Switch. If he goes Blissey as well, unless he has Ice Beam Blissey. Let's see. Zygarde. Um, Blissey. Um, with Ice Beam. Ice Beam, Ice Beam, Ice Beam, Ice Beam. I can live one. Then I'm going to be able to... I hope... I'm pretty sure Blissey is at like 50. 50, 60. So then I can take out a thousand arrows. Then he goes Bro. Then I get a Crit Outrage. <laughs> Seriously, that, I can win that way. So we snack lacked here, that's for sure. He's, I'm going to return just in case he makes a weird play into Zapdos or something like that. Nope, of course not. The other play I have is extreme speeding with my Zygarde. Then he goes Slowbro. Uh, and I can go Rotom, and then I can Volt Switch, as hopefully he goes Blissey or Zapdos. I think that is the play. Uh, I'm going to make sure that Zygarde kills this thing from this range. It really should. Come on. It, Mega Dynasty is not like that bulky. Um, Mega Dynasty is not that bulky. Extreme speed. 25 to 30. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. So, extreme speed. He goes slow, bro. I go Rotom. I Volt Switch as he goes Blissey or Zapdos. If he goes Talonflame and Talonflame lives, uh, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. But we go Zygarde here. Also gives Zygarde another kill. And Zygarde's a kill leader. So let's do that. That's fun. 
if you just go straight um, slow bro it's the same except for Zygarde doesn't get the kill but hopefully he just stays in just stay in yeah in case I make a ballsy play and go for Dragon Dance exactly Zygarde will be keeping, picking up one more kill um, as the Diancie goes down okay so we're at 4 to 2 right now Zygarde is such a monster that I have a small chance to win this game that's how much of an absolute monster Zygarde is it's not a very likely chance. Let's see what he goes down to here. The way he's been saving Slowbro, he could potentially be like Trick Room. Like Trick Room would be decent against my team. Like Psychic, Grass Move, Ice Beam. Or like Psy Shock for Lax. Like, oh, if he needs Lax gone, and that's why he has Calm Mind, Diancy to weaken down the Lax enough. Yeah, I could see that. I could definitely see that. He goes Zapper. He goes Zapper. This thing might be defensive. Um, uh, this thing might indeed be defensive. At plus one, I'm going to kill from this range. So it's the same, really. I just go for DD here, and if I crit the slow bro, maybe I can win. Maybe. Um, but that's max offensive as well, so if you're not max offensive, yeah, so hit him with ice. Um, oh no, but if you're defensive, I mean, sorry, 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 sorry. If you're defensive, Zapdos. Um, let's check that. The Thousand Eyes is 43 to 51, so I probably wouldn't kill, which means I'd have to Z-move this thing. But I could go Rotom. We've seen Medicine, Roost, and Thunderbolt. He doesn't go into this thing unless he has Hidden Power Ice. So I can go Rotom on the Hidden Power Ice. Um, Rotom. The thing is, is he can Roost stall the Rotom. Like, Hydro Pump will do 45 to 53. But he can roost all it. So I think we just go for the DD and try and pick up one more kill here. Yeah, I think that's what we do. No! Uh! Oh, I clicked the right move! Oh my god! <laughs> I thought I clicked the wrong move! <laughs> oh my god, I thought I clicked the wrong move! <laughs> <laughs> Holy guac <laughs> I was so salty <laughs> For one second I was actually so salty right there Oh my god, okay So we do 43 to 51 It's definitely not offensive zapper I, um, Do I go and try and win the game Or do I just try and win 3-0 Lose 3-0, sorry You're at like Hmm. I think your defensive Zapdos. So let's see. Move. Do I? Ah! Like, of course, Z move is gonna kill. I could just outrage, but I think outrage might be the only way I win this game. Outrage kills. He goes, bro. Uh, slow bro. Uh, would a crit outrage be enough? It does a lot. So if you're not max defensive, then it would be enough. I'm going to Devastating Drake here. Yeah, I'm going to Devastating Drake here. Fair enough, that Z move. Because the thing is, he probably, he's got to be max defensive slow bro. But why didn't he go out into it? Like, if he's not, if he is, like, a trick room slow bro, uh, let's say, then crit outrage is going to kill. Crit outrage is going to kill. Hmm. So my opponent has the Diane, no, 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 no. The slow bro, the blissey, and the town on flame less. That ever, those two defensive Pokemon that all my team are left. Slowbro and Blissey. So it's like he goes out to Toki. That is the Slowbro. It's the only name we haven't seen. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, 
So Talon Flame Talon Flame Talon Flame may not kill my Zygarde with Flame with Brave Bird. So I think I'm gonna try and play off that right now and go out into my Rotom. Uh, and then Volt Switch. Because maybe I can get another kill on the Blissey or something. Um, especially if the Blissey, like, which will be the switch in. He goes for the Ice Beam. Okay, let's see how much this damage this does. Okay, okay, okay. So you're not, you're, 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 you are defensive. He preserved this thing very well. Okay. So I am going to Volt Switch here. I do feel like that is the play. He should hopefully go Blissey. If he just stays in and predicting the Volt Switch. Then that would be a good play because he wins. But he does withdraw, okay, just in case I go for Thunderbolt and take him out. Um, just in case I go for Thunderbolt and take him out. He does go out into the Blissey. So, Zygarde. We're just trying to pick up kills here. We're just trying to pick up kills here. No worries, no worries, no stress. Um, we go Zygarde. I don't know if I want to risk this thing having Ice Beam or not. Or do I just try and go for the Outrage? I do 54% so I probably don't even kill this thing. Um, but he's no reason not to go slow, bro. I think I want to go Rotom and Volt Switch again just to scout for the Ice Beam. Because I think he goes for the Ice Beam here. Because uh, he doesn't want me to set up. So let's try that. If he does uh, have the Ice Beam, he does just win, I think. Yeah, he does just win. Um, and he does withdraw, okay. So maybe he doesn't have the Ice Beam. Damn. Maybe he doesn't have the Ice Beam. Okay. Um, so once again, I am going to Volt Switch. Again, he can stay in here if he wants to. Um, but like the safe play for him is just to withdraw, exactly. Um, it is just to withdraw. So let's go for the Volt Switch here, and we're going to play on the Crit Outrage. That's what I'm going to try and do. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to DD up on the Blissey, as I don't think it has the Ice Beam, because he switched out. Uh, unless he thought that he was in range. Unless he thought he was in range. Um, but he's at about the same amount of health as he was last time. Um, so let's DD. Let's Dragon Dance. Switch out. Switch out. Switch out. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> uh, he does switch out, and uh, now this is the moment of truth and... Uh, Zygar, we're at plus one. Slow, bro. I mean, it's not like we deserve this, but you've got to play to win. I think, I think you've got to play to win. Um, oh, it doesn't even kill. Okay, cool. <laughs> it doesn't even kill. Um, let's outreach here. Uh, it doesn't even kill, so what are you saying? And he might not be max defensive. You never know. He might not be max defensive, but we, he is going to chew that. Holy crap. Slowbro, you are a monster. Uh, he's going to take me out. Let us see. We're going to go for a Thunderbolt here. He goes Blissey, and he wins the game 3-0. So I did try to salvage a little bit of something at the end there, but uh, even a crit actually wouldn't have killed. I, th I, th I thought it might have killed. Um, but it does not. So I think maybe if I had to win that game, I had to go for the crit on the Zapdos. I think probably. And then in those series of plays, if I had gone for the Z Outrage, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't really know how. I don't think there's a way I win that game. So that's Thunderbolt, in case he decides to give us the 2-0. Of course, why would he give us the 2-0? Makes no sense. Um, GG Zazo. Uh, what can I say? Uh, I screwed up Zard. Humongously, I made a stupid, reckless play with... Basically, even though it wasn't my win con, it kind of was because I needed the sun. Um, it was a really stupid play, thinking back on it. I was just... Uh, I'm going to put it down to heat of the moment, something like that. I don't know. Uh, I just... I think I saw the way that Danza beat the... Uh, he's got Shadow Ball ah, for a sub Gengar, which I very almost brought. So... Um, I thought he might bring Psychic. I thought Psychic was a little bit better because I guess Shadow Ball hits the Mew. Um, so that's true. Can we crit for a 2-0? Bro, Tom. Oh, no, no, no. Even a crit's not going to kill. My bad. I thought he was lower than that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, basically, go 
I just thought that if he went for Roost, I'd be in a really good spot. I could focus punch um, and he would go Blissey because he went Diancy before. I really think he would have gone Blissey um, the next turn. I really, really do. It's the kind of player that Zazo is. Uh, he wants to switch up his switch ins, and Blissey is an absolutely fine switch in to the Jarizard. Uh, so I don't really know why I made that play. If I'm being honest, the crit on Mew sucked, but it didn't change the game at all. Really, uh, it would have been the same result. I maybe would have had some more bulk to play with at the end. Um, but I didn't have taunt on Mew. If I had taunt on Mew, maybe it, it could have been a different game because I could have taunt, taunted the Blissey. But then he still had the Shadow Ball, but I could have softballed up. So maybe, maybe, maybe. There, there are a lot of maybes. I think that the, the big thing really is me making the stupid play in, in, into my Charizard there. Um, hopefully we're not going to be making plays like that next week. I, everything my bones told me, uh, it's like my heart was telling me go go Charizard because you're going to be in a great position after that. But my uh, everything in my bones was telling me just to recycle with Lax, get the berry, which would have been really clutch again um, at the end. So that is going to be all from me today, guys. If you guys are hyped for us to bounce back next week or if you're feeling like an absolute legend, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. But other than that, I will smell you later.